there folks and welcome back to another video in regards to the upcoming Factorio expansion. Uh, I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me again and I wanted to uh, take some time and give some of my thoughts and theories for what I'm kind of kind of what my guesses are uh, for what the new expansion could include um, or some of it anyways. Uh, I, I do want to say that this you know this is obviously this is for pure entertainment this is just theories i could be way off base uh, maybe some of it's right maybe it's not i just think it's gonna it's, it's kind of fun to just throw out ideas and theories and then you know when the expansion does come out see how close maybe um i was or not uh and i think it's just kind of fun to think about so again just to clarify this is not information that the devs have shared publicly or with me or anything this is just pure speculation and wild guesses and i think it's just kind of fun to do so we're looking at the Friday facts here, and uh, Bombug and I touched on some stuff a little bit in terms of like theories or what stuff could be when we read through this, but mostly it was just reading what was here. Um, so this is uh, kind of going a bit more into digging deeper into into what's given to us, and it's not very much, uh, obviously. Really, there's there's only two, uh, like a GIF and then a picture here to go off of, and a few maybe little hints. Uh, so first off, I do want to point out, because it was pointed out to me in the Friday Facts discussion video comments, um, this is actually all new. So I apparently don't pay much attention or have just, you know, done enough fighting and, and destroying of bugs to not really even pay attention to them anymore. Um, but this whole, like, um, kind of decomposition and, and such and decay is new. Uh, and now that I look at it and, and then think back, like, last time I fought bugs, which was like yesterday, uh, this is definitely much improved. Um, so let's start with this and something that they say here. And this, like, I'm not saying they're like dropping hints, I'm just kind of almost reading into it perhaps, but um, so they say to avoid reworking or scrapping graphics, which take a lot of time and care to create, we try to work on things with the most solidified gameplay mechanics first or improvements that don't change the mechanics at all. Which is true, this doesn't change mechanics, um, it's just a visual thing, but it is really nice. Uh, like even this is just far more detailed and, and then kind of the decomposition and, and, and stuff of, of the carcasses and corpses and, and spawners and stuff is really interesting actually. It, it definitely adds some more uh, life, even though they're dead, uh, to, to the landscape and all that. Uh, and this kind of leads me, this and the, and the picture below, leads me to uh, kind of my first theory or first part of the theory that uh, I think the expansion is going to have a lot of just improvements. Now, this is not to say that there won't be new content. There absolutely will. They plan to make this a very big thing. Um, but just based on this and what they say here, uh, and just like the, the quality and style of design on this uh, is leading me to think that on um, the campaign uh, the, the expansion is going to have some vast graphical improvements and gameplay improvements uh that may not be necessarily new things but improved over what's currently in the game and then of course a bunch of new stuff too um so like this is obviously nothing that will like change your gameplay um or mechanics but visually it is a very nice upgrade and, it, and it's really quite um like a significant upgrade, in my opinion, to what there currently is. And then same with this. Now this is pro this is like a render maybe, um, I'm not entirely sure, but like, or I mean it's concept art really, uh, but but still this is very different and, and also um, it seems almost even more highly detailed than what we currently have. Like the bugs don't look bad here, but if you just compare these to like what we see down here, in my opinion at least, this is significantly more detailed and kind of impressive. Um, again, not to say that these are bad, but just comparing. Um, so that's just kind of my first thought is I would, uh, I would not be surprised if, if there's just like a bunch of graphical updates, um, fingers crossed for assembling machines. <laughs> um, in this, obviously there is some stuff with the enemies. Um, and then this also leads kind of into the second part. And this is almost, I feel like more, more uh, reading into things perhaps even than what I just said, uh, is that this could be fairly uh, heavily focused on enemies and combat. 
Um, now, the only reason we can really come to this conclusion is just simply because the two things they show us happen to be, like, enemy-related, um, which, you know, could <laughs> just be that that's what they chose to show us, and that that's actually a small part of it. You know, who knows? This is just a complete random off the wall type of theory, but um, just based on this, like it certainly could be, right? I mean, this is clearly a new enemy. So we do know based on that, that they have put in quite a lot of effort purely just with this. I mean, this is looks stellar. Like this is obviously, they put in a lot of thought and effort to this um, towards enemies. And uh, you know, this is a very new, um, potentially evolved as well type of um, biter species or an entirely different species. Uh, First off, uh, this is something that either swims or floats. This is, I mean, this is definitely not something that crawls, right? <laughs> like, uh, very, very uh, different, no no legs. Um, it's, I mean, kind of floating in this, which again, this is just kind of concept art, but it could be some sort of flying, floating enemy, or it could be an aquatic one. Uh, you know, again, this could be water, or it could just be slime. Don't really know. Um, I could see this either, either in the water or as like an airborne enemy. Um, and this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like very, th this thing here is basically a brain. Like this, to me, this is very, very clearly resembling like a brain. You know, this is, <laughs> it, it, to me, this can't really be much else. Like this is just very much resembling that. We have the this uh, kind of like bluish crystal light things here, which we can also see over here. So. To me, this seems like something more evolved than just the kind of rudimentary biters and spitters. Um, definitely more dangerous, uh, which does also lead me to think that, you know, there's got to be some sort of maybe new weaponry or something to deal with this. Uh, and if this is aquatic, then this, then, and then that almost kind of opens the door to all kind of other things. Uh, I don't know, is, is there going to be some sort of base building on the water, in the water, um, or like water transport options, which I know has, you know, been, I think people have wanted for a long time. And there are mods, mods that do that. Um, you know, we could just, we could go way off <laughs> in left field and just throw out all kinds of weird theories, but trying to just kind of stick to what we see here. Um, I think that there's definitely going to be something new with the enemies. And I would hope and assume some sort of new combat options and upgrades to go along with that um you know to me that would just seem fitting like i'm sure you could use lasers on this or even gun turrets or whatever um but just more combat options in general i think would be good especially if they you know are obviously doing more enemies um and then that's obviously probably new recipes and and stuff uh, now past this again we don't really have anything else to go on besides this these are just the only two things they showed us is obvious graphic improvements um and then some sort of new enemy and that's really all we have to work with uh now they do they do say i mean the scope of this is like i said in the friday facts discussion significantly bigger than i actually thought the way they put it in the friday facts is that this is going to like be almost the equivalent of just a whole game um you know, they almost outright say that. I'm not sure if we can scroll all the way up. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, where. So they say, yeah, they say the general goal is to make the expansion feel like as big an addition as the whole vanilla game. And this is like huge. Like, <laughs> like I mean, we, we know, you know, any of us who play the game obviously know how big of a game it is. It's a pretty big game. Like you can do a lot with it. You can do a ton with it. Even without mods, there's a lot of content in the game at this point. And, I mean, they basically outright say that their goal, if they meet the goal, is to have the expansion be essentially equivalent to the entire vanilla game again, right? So, this means to me that there is significantly more than this. Like, like I mean, obviously, but, you know, it's not like they're just going to add, like, three new enemies and a couple new guns and some new graphics. Like, that, you know, that's obviously not equivalent to the entire vanilla game. Um, I, again, now this is, I can clarify because I know this can be misconstrued. Um, I'm not saying that, like, I'm expecting this or, or like, I'll be upset if they don't or, or, or something like this. But I, I'm going to say expect, but again... Just because I'm just basing off what they said, like I would 
kind of expect or not be surprised to have entirely like huge reworks to stuff or or not really reworks necessarily maybe because they, they do make it in a way where you can um just kind of like turn off the thing like turn off the expansion like a mod and then play vanilla um pretty easily so i don't know that they're really going to redo processes that the vanilla game would have they it, it sounds to me like there's going to add on to it in a big way um so i would expect like tons of new researches tech tree stuff new buildings um you know again if they're going for like a vanilla 2.0 type of deal almost then you know I, I would be pretty surprised if they give us like new tech in recipes and stuff and then we just use all the exact same buildings with nothing new to to make this stuff um you know i, I would expect some pretty big things here and I don't know what the direction they're going to go, you know, which is, is the fun part. This is, you know, all they, they could go all kinds of different directions. I know, like, space is an obvious one. And, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this could be some sort of space creature. It doesn't really seem like it to me, personally, uh, but it could be. And, you know, that's kind of the obvious one. Like, yeah, we have a rocket, we launch into space, and then we do something with that. But they, they have in the past toyed with that idea. Like, there was the whole thing, if you were... In the community long ago enough to remember this with like their whole plan and concept of like building the space platform very similar to the spacex mod um space ex ex uh, expansion exploration mod and uh at the time at least they kind of just totally scrapped that idea like they just seemed to have a lot of problems with it did not want to go that direction um maybe they changed their mind and came up with something that fits better with what they you know what their vision is uh, but I would kind of lean towards it not being that, uh, just based off of what they, you know, said and, and showed previously on that, and that they just really did not seem happy with that idea. Again, it's not to say that they couldn't have found some better way to do it, uh, and that would be great. Like, I'd be totally fine with that. Um, but personally, I think I'm leaning towards more something like, um, I don't know, maybe a new planet? Like, I'm not saying that space travel of some sort isn't out of possibility like maybe you go to a new planet and there's entirely new enemies or something like that's possible um or maybe they're planning something uh with like i said with water aquatic like to me there's only so much you can do on on just the surface right like you know <laughs> they could just add a bunch of new buildings and stuff in in processes but uh, to me that seems like maybe they're just i mean that's kind of just like boss mods or something right like and maybe they do that. Like, I won't complain if they do that, because I'll play it. I'll play whatever they do. Um, but uh, I, I don't really even know how they would do some sort of, like, underwater aquatic thing um, with the style of Factorio. Uh, I, I can't really imagine how that would work. Um, but whatever they are planning, I know they're going to make it work, and I know it's going to be great. Um, so, I don't know. Personally, I feel like it's just something to do uh, not necessarily with like building in space possibly some sort of new planet or maybe some sort of something on the same planet aquatic water uh something um i don't know it'll be really interesting i'm really really curious like they did a really good job with just teasing this you know especially this thing because it's like you know what is this what does this mean for the for the con like for the type of stuff they're adding and and I just, I'm really, I really can't really imagine, like, I, I, I'm a little stumped, honestly, because they, they say they are going to add so much new content, and uh, I'm just really excited to see what it is. Um, and we'll have to just wait until they, they share some more stuff um, and, you know, open up the beta and, and such like that. But anyway, that's just my theory. I don't know. I thought it'd just be fun to talk about it. Uh, and also I'm, I'm kind of short, I'm short a video this week. I could not actually find a, a mod that I wanted spotlight and I was busy on all the days I would do it. Um, so I was short a video this week and I thought, Hey, this would be fun. I've been kind of thinking about it for a little bit. Um, so I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, th this is kind of, uh, an avenue, you know, to, to share what you guys think. I would really enjoy reading what you have to say in the comments. Like, what are your theories? You know, what do you think of my theories? Um, I would be really interested in that, and I think it would be fun just to see, you know, like, when the expansion comes out, how close any of us were. Like, did, you know, some of us almost exactly guess it? Were none of us close? You know, were we kind of on the right path? Um, that That's always really interesting to me. So, I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, 
thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, uh, thank you. I know it's maybe a little rambly, but I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts as they came to me. And uh, I hope you did enjoy. And if you want to see more factorial content and you're not subscribed, feel free to and turn on the bell notification to be uh, notified of updates. And again, leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.